All right, students. This is your ACCA F9 financial management teacher, Navidur Rahman. And today, what we are going to learn is the topic called cost of capital. Well, as the name suggests, this is simply cost of having capital or cost of having funds. So, if we if the business needs funds to run the business then for those funds they have to bear some cost and that is simply cost cost of capital right so let's learn it by an example let's say uh, this is a business and to run this business we will need hundred million dollar now how can we get this hundred million dollars well, let's say some shareholders contributed to learn to, to, to run this business and they contributed about 70 million dollars and let's say the bank also contributed 30 million dollars now the bank and the shareholders basically these are the investors they'll definitely require some return from the business right so because shareholders takes higher risk that's why they will expect higher return and let's say the shareholder expects about 15 percent for contributing that amount and let's say because the debt holders of the bank let's say they take less risk and we can say that they will expect five percent return well the business is not that much interested in the return expected by the shareholder or the bank separately but the business is uh, interested uh, more in the overall weighted average return so if we calculate its weighted average return it would be 70 million contributed by shareholders and 30 million contributed by the bank and as the shareholder expect 15 percent and the bank expect 5 percent so if we multiply 70 multiply by 15 percent that is 0.15 this will give us 10.5 and 30 million multiply by 0 0.05 this will be 1.5 and overall if we add them together that would be false and this would be 100 million so the weighted average would be weighted average cost of capital will be 12 divided by 100 million but we have to multiply that with 100 also why because we have to get a percentage and the percentage cost of capital would be 12 percent right so what does that 12 percent means well we we see in our questions that when the business let me change the color if the business invest in projects so let's say we have two projects here project one and project two when the business invest in these projects they will need an appropriate discount rate now this cost of capital could be used as a discount rate in these two projects right and that is how we use cost of capital as a discount rate in our projects i hope this was helpful if you have any issues you can contact me at my personal number double zero nine two three three four six eight five three eight zero eight you can whatsapp me also thank you very much Goodbye.